Anton, thanks for sharing your bar with me. Fine. And my, uh, my Birkin lifters. These are the new Adidas lifters. Yeah, yeah, they're good. They're really fast. Yeah, yeah. You can wear them if you're dead as well. Welcome back to a very special training vlog. I am back in Malta for another series with Yasmin. So a lot of great training vlogs and hopefully one with uh, another special weightlifter that you've seen on the channel many times before. But today it's myself and Yasmin going pretty heavy on squats. So Yasmin squats a mighty 125 front squat at a 60 odd kilo body weight and I work up to a set of 220 kilos for one set of five on the back squat with no belt no shoes because I fucking forgot to bring them like a dumbass but Sean one of the lifters Maltese lifters loaned me his knee wraps which helped a nice little bit and I'm sharing a barbell here with Anton who very kindly let me warm up alongside him while he's doing his front squats and very very happy with this so yeah has been squatted a mighty 125 and I hit that top set at 220. So warming up, I did use the Birkenstocks, but uh, the Birken Lifters 2000s. And here's a top set, or first set, kind of working set at 196. It's basically what we had on the bar was 146. So we popped on some 25s. And uh, I did my first working set here just to feel them out. And I hadn't put on the knee wraps yet. Uh, it's been a long time since I used any knee wraps. And as you'll see, I am terrible at putting them on. I figured it out after a couple of sessions, but uh, it was pretty annoying. <laughs> yeah, so there's a first kind of set with them on, just back at 190, took off the fractional plates and just got a little practice with them in. Uh, surprisingly, didn't miss the belt at all. Definitely prefer knee sleeves, without a doubt, because it's much more consistent. Now here's Yasmin warming up with 85 kilos. Uh, she's recently cut a lot of body weight, something like seven or eight kilos and she was kind of unsure why it was happening it was a bit unintentional from what she was saying uh, but her strength is coming back and she's popping out big squats here currently self-coached so very very uh, interesting situation and she is making great progress on herself she's very experienced and uh, you'll see a lot of elite weightlifters from countries where there's not a huge weightlifting culture you end up with uh, some very intuitive weightlifters who can coach themselves now as we always say Getting coached is still better, but Yasmin's doing a damn fine job. Here's Melissa from Norway and her partner there, David, in the background. They're on a little training holiday. And Melissa, very, very good weightlifter who've coached before. And she is just rehabbing some very annoying shoulder stuff. So here's my first set of 200. And uh, I gotta say, I was, as Ivan Jurek says, feeling poppy on these. I was very, very happy at how they're going. I was kind of concerned. But as you know, I am a big fan of napping a bitch. So we got on what we needed to do and we get some sets in at 220. And first set at 200, knee wraps coming off. It was just, it was just, uh, it, it, you know what? It didn't even feel like it made a difference when it came off, but uh, I wanted to get it right. What I hate about knee wraps is you just have to every set, take them off and readjust them. You can see Yasmin puts them on later. Here she is at 110, so no knee wraps, no belt yet. Just in the new Lou Zhaojun shoes, which she says she likes a lot. So I might try to get my hands on a pair of those and myself and Fitz might give them a run down. Next set at 115, very, very, very easy. So we're closing in on uh, nearly double body weight front squats here. Second set of 200, I think I got this knee wrap situation down a little bit. As you know, I really enjoy squatting barefoot. It's not the best but it's very, very, very close to being just like in shoes for me. But this is from, you know, good dorsiflexion, good squat mechanics, and uh, a big pair of balls. So you can see good bar spit in this. Uh, nice whip in the bar. Just a little fuck you pause at the end for my boy, Zach Delander, who loves them. Now, terrible lighting effect here on Yasmin's 120, but uh, very, very easy from her. And we'll see her top set here in just a second. And now 125 on the uh, king's box weightlifting equipment who's a uh, sponsor yasmin you can see she put on her knee wraps i think she had the hook grip knee wraps which uh, if they're hook grip equipment it's a great chance of them being really high quality from that and then here's my top set of 220 and i absolutely demolished this blew this one out of the park wait till you see 
the following training vlog after this i'm repping multiple sets of 220 with the bare foot and the no belt so obviously i've squatted 290 without a belt so it doesn't really hinder me too much but uh, you know when you get into that habit of wearing things and you're like do i necessarily need them now i will say this before anyone asks the shoes definitely help a bit but not they're not the be all and end all so nice top set of there at 220 i'm really happy with that one really pleased with aesthetically and as you know i'm very often harsh on my own lifting so a uh, very good top set and then drop down just to I think it's 100 kilos for the sets of 10 uh, sans equipment of course and get the pump so i hope you enjoyed today's training vlog i've got a couple of more coming with yasmin and I might, might have a little training vlog with a certain mystery lifter who I'm sure you know well and some of you probably already know who it is. So I hope you enjoyed today's training vlog. I hope you're enjoying the squat progress. I am uh, very chuffed with this, especially the uh, alternative circumstances. Thanks guys.